I just want to talk to you about the young kid 11 years ago. Dallas is always a special place for me because it was the first place I met Andy and saw what was happening with the Alliance. Uh, take you back 11 years ago, my wife and I, Carla, we were uh, two young kids. Today, actually, Carla couldn't be here. She sends her love. Adriel, my baby boy, just turned 15. Yes, yes, yes. The Make It Rain kid is 15. He's driving. He's a young entrepreneur cutting all his friend's hair. So he's got it on us. So she could not be here, but she does send her love. Um, but I think back 11 years. 11 years ago, I was in the back. And I remember Andy, when we got on the phone, he talked to me about coming here. And one of the things he told me that has always inspired me is he said, Marcus, this is going to make a great story one day, Bo, <laughs> if you don't quit. I remember being 11 years ago, never thinking that I would be able to tell the story quite like this. Because you don't know how your story is going to end. But I know I got an author of my story. I'm trying to teach y'all, not preach to y'all, but y'all stay with me, okay? And, and, and the author is weaving the story for all of us. I didn't know there was going to be times where I didn't know how I was going to pay my mortgage and I still had to pay a lead bill. You with me? I didn't know that there was going to be times where I would make a six-figure income and still have to file bankruptcy because I didn't understand how to manage my money. Can I talk to you plainly? Yeah. Uh, Eleven years ago, I was terrified out of my mind, but I knew that on the inside of me, there was a power that gave me hope that said, if they can do it, I can do it. I didn't know how I was going to take care of the kids. I remember coming home with that baby boy. I looked back in the car seat and at my son, and I said, man, if I don't get this done, he doesn't eat. Now, I don't know about you, but that's pressure. But pressure makes diamonds. You follow me? And so we put ourselves in pressure situations, and when you get in that pressure situation, you get to find out what's on the inside of you. And I sat in the back of the room thinking like, man, maybe I could be great too. Anybody got a dream? Wondering, like, maybe I could do what he's doing. Or I'm the, I'm the guy that's supposed to inspire you. I'm telling you, it wasn't always this polished. <laughs> it wasn't always this nice. But one thing I knew is that if I followed what Andy told me to do, and I worked my butt off, there's nothing that I couldn't do.